This is Benin. Welcome to Opentiera. Did you know Benin is home to over 40 ethnic groups, each with its own languages and traditions? This diversity forms a unique cultural landscape, shaping everything from cuisine to artistic expression. Also, did you know that the Kingdom of Dahomey, with its formidable female warriors known as the Dahomey Amazons, held significant power and influence in the region's history. Join us and stay to the end to find out more about this fascinating natural treasure trove. Benin is a narrow, small West African country bordering Nigeria, Togo, Burkina Faso, and Niger. Benin has a varied geography including a fertile southern region and humid forests in the south contrasting with a hotter, drier north. This video will provide an overview of Benin's primary geographic features and major cities across regions. Benin stretches for over 100 miles along the Bight of Benin on the Gulf of Guinea. The southern coastal region has wetlands, lagoons, marshes and lakes such as Lake Nokwe. This connects to the Ueme River, which divides the country's administrative regions. The largest city and economic hub, Cotonou, lies on the coast, which serves as Benin's primary port. Moving inland, the fertile central and northern plains consist of woodlands, savannalands and marsh. The elevated Abome Plateau, located here, once served as home to the renowned pre-colonial kingdom of Danhomi's capital city, Abome. Other key cities include Bohikon, Abome, and Paraku, near key trade routes. The far northern provinces occupy parts of the West African Sahel region with desert climates. This includes flat scrublands and the rugged Atakora mountain range along the Togo border, home to W National Park, where lions, leopards, and hundreds of bird species reside. Natitingu City, lies nestled in the mountains. Prior to European contact, the area that is now Benin was home to several powerful kingdoms and ethnic groups. The Kingdom of Dahomey emerged in the early 17th century in the Abome Plateau region. It grew rich and powerful through the slave trade with European traders, taking over key slave ports. The Kingdom of Porto Novo also developed on the coast with an economy tied to the Atlantic slave trade. These kingdoms fought wars for control over land and trade. In the late 19th century, France began colonizing the coastal region as French Dahomey. They imposed taxes and centralized power, limiting the authority of Dahomey's leaders. This ignited several resistance campaigns, which were brutally suppressed. The French expanded inland and engaged in bloody wars to subdue the Kingdom of Danhome. In 1904, Dahme became part of French West Africa. Benin gained independence from France on August 1, 1960, under its first president, Hubert Magar. However, the years after saw several coups d'etat and changes in government. In 1972, Mathieu Kerekou seized power in a military coup which he ruled for over 17 years under a Marxist-Leninist regime with close ties to the Soviet Union and China. Economic struggles and austerity measures sparked protests demanding democratic reforms in 1989. In February 1990, Benin transitioned from Marxism-Leninism to democracy, holding its first free elections. Nisifor Soglo defeated Kerakou in the 1991 runoff vote to become Benin's first democratically elected president. Since then, Benin has held regular free and fair elections, successfully transitioning power between presidents and maintaining democratic rule despite political tensions. The West African nation of Benin has a population of around 12 million, comprising over 40 ethnic groups speaking many languages and dialects. The largest ethnic group are the Fon people, comprising about 40% of Benin's population concentrated across the south, with the largest number inhabiting the coastal city of Cotonou. The Aja constitute 15% of the population, the second largest ethnic group. Related to Nigerian Yorubas, 
The Yorubas constitute the third biggest group at 12%, based in the southeast. In central Benin, the Bariba make up 10%, once presiding over powerful northeast kingdoms. Other groups include Aizo and Chola in the south, while northern groups include Somba, Dendi, and nomadic Fulani peoples. Roughly half of Benin's people follow Christianity. After over a century of missionary activity along the coast, most Christian groups are Catholic, but smaller Methodist, Baptist, and Evangelical congregations persist. One quarter of the population practices Islam, largely members of northern ethnic groups and adherents of Sunni orthodoxy. The last quarter follows assorted animist beliefs, incorporating spirit and ancestor worship, a prominent one being Vodun, or West African Voodoo. French is the official language, but each region has native tongues. These include the widely spoken Fon and Gen, or Mina dialects in the south, part of the. Also hailing from this family is Bariba, dominant in the northeast. Yoruba has an outsized cultural influence in the southeast. Northern tongues like Dendi also prevail locally. Benin has worked to transition from a state-run economy to an open market-based system over recent decades. While still heavily dependent on agriculture and regional trade, the country has made progress in reducing poverty and encouraging business activity. However, significant obstacles remain. Agriculture accounts for roughly one-third of Benin's $17 billion GDP and engages 70% of the workforce. Cotton is a top export crop. Services drive around half of GDP, much centered in Benin's largest city, Cotonou. From diverse ethnic traditions to arts and religious dance, Benin's culture proves rich and vibrant across artistic expressions. Intricate applique banners conveying fond history in cloth combine, abstracted figures and symbolic patterns, while clay statuettes bring folk tales to form, wood carvings like Royal Bay masks honor ancestors with natural motifs. Regions feature terracotta, beadwork, and more in traditional styles. The culturally dominant Fon lead Uida's annual voodoo festival. Drum beats drive iconic Yoruba Gelede masks in dance, celebrating mothers. Northern Ditamari people don colorful garb, for annually festive Gere wakes honoring community elders passing. The native religion of Vodun constitutes Benin's essential spiritual mainstay, with roots in revering ancestors and myriad animist deities called Orishas. The religion spawned Haitian voodoo and New Orleans voodoo during slavery's middle passage across oceans. Spirit possession and ritual trances define Vodun services from remote villages to urban temples aimed at healing bodies, bonding communities, and venerating those who came before across space and time. As with many West African countries, corn, yams, rice, and cassava are staple starches that provide nourishment and fill hungry bellies in Benin's local cooking. Beans and legumes like cow peas and pigeon peas also play a major role in typical Benin's dishes. Other key ingredients comprise tomatoes, onions, okra, peanuts, fish, palm oil, and meat. Some quintessential beloved Benin's plates include fufu dough made from corn or cassava served with peanut or vegetable sauces in coastal regions. Northern savanna areas feature more rice, millet, and sorghum-based fufu. More everyday Beninese meals might feature dishes like ancho, a spiced black-eyed pea and eggplant concoction. Akara fritters, made from ground beans, make a crisp and flavorful snack, especially at breakfast when served with omelets. For a kick of hot spice, the Senegalese dish Tieboudien, comprising cassava, okra, meat, and rice, frequently appears on Beninese tables. The West African nation of Benin may be small in size, but it is filled with some really surprising and fascinating facts. In the coastal town of Ouida, there stands a remarkable temple devoted to Dangbe, the serpent god, and a symbol of ancient wisdom in the native religion of Vodun. 
Hundreds of pythons slither freely in the temple, and its rooms and chambers serve for local spiritual services, venerating ancestors and folk tales tied to serpents. With around 40% of its population below the age of 15, Benin has one of the world's youngest populations. This youthful demographic dynamic shapes a culture tuned into modern music, media, and fashion across cities, while traditional livelihoods like fishing and farming still employ most rural youths. Ganvi, sitting entirely on stilts in the middle of Lake Nokowe, serves as Africa's largest lake settlement. Founded 500 years ago by West Africans seeking refuge from slavers, Ganvi has bloomed into a self-sustaining town of over 30,000 residents who farm fish below via underwater corrals and commute via hand-carved wooden boats. If you enjoyed this video on Benin, you'll love this next one.